Hey, what's going on? It's Coach Ben from Online Soccer Skills, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a skill that Neymar used last year in the Champions League against Arsenal. And we're gonna be talking about bringing the ball down a different way. Now, before we get into the video, I wanna have a disclaimer. I don't want any player to do this unless they've mastered the skill. And I wouldn't want you to do any move in the game unless you feel 100% confident. Let's talk about the situation that Neymar had when he brought the ball down out of the air against Arsenal. His teammate was about 40 or 50 yards away from him and his teammate played a diagonal ball. Neymar was in space, so this is really key. He was in open space. He wasn't surrounded by a lot of defenders when this happened, but the ball was being played to him and he had time to adjust his body and bring the ball down. Normally, a player is gonna use their chest, their thigh, or their foot just to bring it down. But Neymar is a little bit more fancy. What he did is he brought his foot behind his leg to bring the ball down. You've probably seen him do this multiple times, but if you go back and watch that game, if you look at that clip on, on YouTube, this is probably the best example because when he pulled this off, he had a great first touch and it put him into the space that he wanted to dribble. And when you do this, and I'm about to show you how to do this, you have to be number one in the attacking third. I don't like when any players attempt moves that are fancy or too skillful in the defensive third or in the middle of the field when they could lose possession. But if you're in the attacking third, you can take more risk. I'm going to be showing you a few examples here of me doing this skill. And I want you to watch very close to how, number one, how I'm standing, how I position my body, and how I have my feet set up when I control the ball. I'm gonna break this into three easy steps. Number one, I'm gonna be on my toes. I never wanna receive a ball out of the air or on the ground if I'm flat footed. So I'm gonna be light on my toes. The second step is I'm just gonna bring my right foot. The foot I'm gonna control with is my right foot, but I'm gonna bring it behind my left leg. And I'm gonna have my right foot pointed towards the ground just like this. And when the ball is going to hit my foot, I want it to hit my instep. So I'm wearing these Adidas shoes here. I kind of want it to hit the three stripes there. And when the ball hits my foot, I need to receive the ball. I can't have my foot extremely stiff. If it's really stiff, it's just gonna bounce off my foot. And I'm gonna lose control. So I want to kind of cradle the ball as it comes into my foot. This is gonna allow me to have a better first touch. Like I said earlier, I only want you to pull this move off if you have a lot of space. When the ball gets played in your feet, out of the air, you need to check your shoulders. You need to see how much space you have. That's gonna give you the confidence to pull this off. When you practice this skill, there's two ways that I want you to practice. The first, very simple. You can have a partner who's five or 10 yards away from you. They're just gonna to toss you the ball straight to you. It's gonna be the easiest way to learn this, or if you don't have a partner, I want you to use a wall. You can toss the ball against the wall and work on just controlling it out of the air. So it's not going to bounce, it's going to hit your foot before it hits the ground. The second way you can do this is more game realistic. Your partner can be 20 or 30 yards away from you and they're gonna be working on chipping the ball or driving the ball into you. And this is gonna be how it would be in the game. So you have to remember, stay on your toes, be able to adjust your body and move to where the ball's coming from. And what I want you to do in this room is work on controlling it and then be able to just play the ball back to your partner and then they're just gonna keep playing the ball back and forth. After you practice this skill, I want you to give me some feedback. So comment below the video, let me know how it's going. If you need any extra help, we might create another video that goes into more depth about not just this, but other skills that other professionals are doing. So just comment below, let me know how it's going when you practice on your own. All right, if you enjoyed this video, click the thumbs up button. And as always, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to click that subscribe button below. We have new videos coming out every Monday and Thursday at nine o'clock in the morning. And what I want you to do is let me know what you want in the future. And you can do that by just commenting below this video. Tell us if you want any more skills, uh, pro player breakdowns, whatever it is you wanna see, just comment below. That way we can start creating these videos that are specific for you in the future. Now, if you wanna become an elite soccer player, I just created our elite skill session. And this session is designed for players who wanna have better footwork players that want to have more confidence 
and the types of players that need to score more goals in the upcoming season. If you want to be one of those players, I want you to click on this video right here and you're just going to be taken to a page. All you have to do is just enter in your email address and I'm going to personally email you our highest level skills workout. So just go click that there and you'll be taken to that page. Now if you're on any mobile device, you can't click on that video there. All you have to do is go to the first link in, this, in the description. It's onlinesoccerskills.com slash free training and you'll be taken to the same page. All right, I'll see you next time.